Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you guys a cool web application called aapp.com. So this is a drawing whiteboard. So you can draw on this whiteboard and you could share it with your friends and they can draw too as long as they're on their devices and you're on your device. So you can go ahead and start drawing and they can start drawing. But first you do need to share a link with them and that is in the invite menu. So if you click on the invite menu, you click on share this board then you will get a link here and you will you basically copy that link and then you paste it in your social media or you paste it in WhatsApp or you just paste it to uh, one of your friends that you want to that you want to draw with them so i'm going to go through some of the settings here and i'm going to start drawing for you guys and just go through some of the settings to, s to show you what you can do with this so first off here is the color palette here is where you change the color and i'm going to go ahead and change that to a nice blue and um, here's where you change the paintbrush size. So if you want it very small or extra large, and then you would go ahead and start drawing whatever you wanted to draw. If you, and if you have a drawing tablet, you can go ahead and just draw w some nice pictures with your fingers or your pen. Right now I'm using a Hueyon Huey tablet where it's a graphics tablet. So I can go ahead and write text. Uh. So, yeah, you can go ahead and draw your designs, share your designs, play some checkers or chess. Sorry, not checkers or chess. You play uh, X and O's. I don't know how, how I confuse that. Uh, you can do a bunch of things with this. So first, let me show you guys um, some of the tools here. So here, obviously, is your pencil where you draw. Here is an eraser where you would erase and you would change the size of the eraser if you wanted to erase something very small. Or if you wanted to erase something very large, you would just click on the paintbrush size. And uh, going back to the tools menu, we have the erase area where you would just click, hold, and highlight whatever you wanted to erase. And everybody has access to these tools. Next thing here, we have the text. So you would just, here you would just type in the text. If you wanted to change the color on that, you would just click there. Um, what else do we have? We have upload image. So we click on the image, then we would click on browse. And if we wanted to upload an image, you just search for the image here on your computer. And here I'm going to upload an iPhone and I'm going to change the size of that to very small. And here is where I would rotate it if I needed to rotate it. Now I just click on the check mark once I'm done and it would upload it. And now everybody could see it. So everybody who has that shared link that they clicked on would be able to see this iPhone. So going back into the tools menu, we have the trash can, which clears the page. And then we have the pen tool. So this would actually be useful if you are using a smaller screen and there's some text over there somewhere else on the screen, then you would use that. And this goes all the way down to there. And it goes all the way up to there. And this would actually also be useful for people on iPhones or Android devices where they would need to either pen by using this pen tool or they can use the two finger gesture and put their two fingers on their screen and swipe up down left or right here on the bottom we have the undo where it would undo the last thing that i've done here is where you would create an account or link your social media account and below that we have the invite menu again where you would invite people to share this board with where they can edit and they can draw their cool designs. Um, here is where you would manage participants or you would change your name. So if you wanted to change your name, you would change your name, click on save. And um, if you wanted to download the image, so if you're happy with your drawing, you would go ahead and click on download image and it would save it to your computer. So just to give you an idea, let's click on download image. And as you can see, it downloaded it, saved it into my download folder. Now, if you wanted to share the image without people having access to edit it, so if you didn't want people to, to be able to edit this image, then you would go ahead and click share image. And they would a link would basically pop up here and um, you can either share that link with the people you want to share the image with, or you can just tweet it, share it on Facebook, post it to Reddit, whatever they have here. Let's go back. And of course, the last one here is the radio button where it says show chat. If we turn the radio button on to green, then we get a pop-up box right here, a chat box where you can type in 
to your friends, whatever you wanted to message them, and the message would show up there. Now they would have to enable this as well in order to see the chat box. So if they wanted to see this chat box, they would have to click into there and then toggle that radio button on. So guys, that is basically it. I mean, hopefully this will come in handy for you. And again, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you do, um, you do use it, you do share it with your friends. And um, yeah, if you did find this video helpful, then uh, please do give it a like. And if you do want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.